Let's we begin, shall we? And we do have the Three of Cups in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. We feel like dropping it because we are not happy. I know. Three of Cups in reverse is the energy of, boy, I wish it was different. Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles in reverse. What would make us happy is to have communication again. To get into their good graces, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse. We've been rejected and now it's like, oh, come on. We can have a decent conversation. Um, three of Cups, Eight of Cups in reverse, right? What would make us happy is to go back to this person or for this person to come back to you. I know. Let's see what else is there. Three of Cups in the world, happy endings. We want happy endings, I know. This one wanted to come out, I'm taking it. It's the Eight of Pentacles. The energy of effort, somebody here and <laughs> Virgo is all about dedication, right? And hard work in detail and focus. Um, three of Cups, upright and the death in reverse. Might be a Scorpio you are dealing with, but this is the energy of unfinished business. And actually we want to deal with this. We want to focus on this, right? We want to pay attention, repair something. Four of Pentacles in reverse, even take a chance, right? Maybe you wish somebody did or you um, you took a chance, but let's see before we jump to conclusions, right? So let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we have the Four of Cups in reverse, right? We've missed an opportunity and we wish we would have known better. We would, known, we would know better next time. Um, two of Pentacles, Four of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles. I love the Pentacles, Virgo, because this is all about your energy. We do have the Ten of Swords. If it comes back again, we know it's yours. It doesn't fit the energy here, but we'll see. Um, I love seeing this energy for you in October because this is coming home to self. This is coming home to energies of... I'm going to focus on the right thing. I am going to keep myself well composed. Two of Pentacles, right? My world would, would be in balance because I am going to make the effort. And I'm going to be um, focusing on this. And Four of Cups in reverse, right? Might have been a missed opportunity, but we let it slide. We let it go. We have better things to do. That's the overall energy. I have better things to do. And we have you wanting to come out. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. A little bit upside down. Maybe in a financial struggle of some sort right now, connection, a love connection is also kind of connected to your abundance and uh, and um, a job, a career, uh, financial well-being, decisions about money, investments, you name it. Um, so let's see. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energy. Okay, we're going to take three. If that's uh, what the universe wants us to hear, we're going to take it, right? And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands, might be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In this, um, in this energy. So let's see, Virgo, in the past on your side, we do have yourself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my God, you do have your own energy twice in the past. We have the Hermit in reverse and the Hermit upright. Yeah, right? It's, you know, it's the energy of I got knocked off and here I am on my two feet, right? <clears throat> Um, it is the energy of somebody saying to themselves, and it's the energy around you, and probably that's something you, you, you are saying yourself, but it has this energy. I've been so stupid, and I am now, and now I know better, right? The hermit in reverse is not seeing the wisdom in it, and maybe not making the best decisions, right? Because the introspection was not there. And um, like the deep thinking, and why, and the why, and the, um, you know, the root cause um but then we got right up right that's a hermit that's your energy um coming right up um yeah it, it feels like it was temporary um uh, and it has and i mean we could start the reading here in that if there is only one message and told by all the energies that we just picked up right 
is the Hermit with the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. I've been down, right? This situation with this person touched me financially in the core of who I am because this is also your most intimate energy. And they messed up with my own stability, my self-esteem, my own, um, you know, core self, my own spiritual self, and now I am right up. Um, Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. No matter what, I'm good, you know. And the Hermit showing up in the past is like, yeah, we got the lesson, now we move, we move on. Oh yeah, you know. Uh, we heard it. Um, now this person of yours, they do have the Ace of Cups and the Star, can be an Aquarius energy, but this is healing and starting over. If your question for this reading before you clicked on this was, do, did they love me in the past? We do have the confirmation. You were their wish fulfillment. We know the Star is all about wish fulfillment, alignment, guidance, spiritual guidance. And with the Ace of Cups, is like, a brand new loving um, healing energy that they had for you in the past. You might have known them before it. It has a sense of um, somebody being a little bit older. It has a more mature, sorry, I um, don't like the word older, uh, more mature. It, it has a sense of maybe you met this person in a type of counseling environment. Maybe you are a counselor, but it has a sense of wisdom and counseling and that love kind of, um, you know, took off in, in, in an environment like this. And it's a genuine love that they have for you. Now, mutual energy is between the two of you, the hangman and the page of wands coming to a stall, um, this connection between the two of you, right? The hangman is the energy of, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to observe, uh, I'm not making a move, despite the passion that was between the two of you. Page of wands, we know it's a little bit of attraction, it's a beginning of, of a sensual connection, of a kind of a, 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 a physical bond, right? But it's the beginning of, doesn't mean it was, um, um, might have been actually a, a physical connection, but by the looks of it, it does look like a beginning of something and then um, got into some form of, um, of pause for some reason, you know? Pages are also about traveling, page of wands in particular um is an energy of traveling so maybe they walked away maybe they are away from you um that type of energy so where are we right now strength the ace of wands in reverse and the tower i know we are staying strong through the storm virgo such a beautiful energy uh, of course leo energy but i'm I kind of um, feel that it's um, an energy, very kind of fresh energy coming your way or something that you just experienced very recent because we are in the new beginning that we push away till we figure out. But at the same time, we are so working on this. We are so staying strong. We want to put the effort no matter what. I will stay in balance. Again, that's this energy of inner strength and courage combined with the tower. We know they've made a mess and still we stay right there and we fight the waves. It's a beautiful energy, um, a courageous energy, right? An energy of I have it in me, right? This is how it feels. Even Ace of Wands, it's this energy of I know it's a mess. I know it's like all over the, the place disruption, but I'm excited about the future. That's Ace of Wands, right? We start, to, we start to feel the fire. I'm excited. Ace of Wands is a very exciting new beginning. Despite the distress of, of a tower moment, despite the lessons, it comes with, you know, the universe when we are stubborn, um, comes with lessons and pushes us a little bit, takes us out of the comfort zone, shows us a different perspective. It's kind of, you know, it's not, a, it's not about you. It's, this is the whole picture, so uh, you better make a plan about it. It's, personally personally but it's not my reading and, and it's not about me and who am i at the end of the day right um but i do love tower moments because it's finally the universe allowing me to see that it was a mess around me and i was not paying attention to it right i was kind of erasing and focusing on something else so i'm kind of happy it's tough love i know but i why not it's true love right it's out of love 
Um, now this person of yours, Virgo, they do have the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, but this is an offer in their hands. They were all emotional about and wish fulfillment and desires, and now they want to take this next level. Page of Pentacles, Hierophant, is contracts, is marriage, is proposals, is I'm not taking half measures here, I'm going fully in, right? Um, the Hierophant is about forever, right? Um, it's the energy of um, um, till death do us part, right? Um, so, um, yeah. And the white picket fence or something like that, right? <laughs> and it's your energy. You might be younger than this person. They might um, show up. And again, that is a strong energy of um, either you wa working together in an environment where we might counsel people. We know the Hierophant is the energy of hospitals, is the energy of nonprofits, is the energy of um, first aid, right? When somebody is like a, in a disaster or something, they show up and they um, save, like the first responders, that kind of energy, you know? And mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Again, the energy of a fire sign. That is passion, but that is also the energy of being single, the energy of being you by yourself, them by themselves, and um, and the energy of action, right? So I, I know they want to take action, but I'm, I'm picking up for good this energy where it's like, I'm good. It's a mess, but I'm good. Right? I don't know if you want them. I'm not seeing it on your side. And of course, you take the side you resonate with. But I, I'm, I'm um, saying here, um, you navigating the waves and making sure you, you get safe to the shore. While this person is all about, I am taking this, like, you know, top notch. It's like I, I go to, I go to the, um, I'm asking for the, for the stars, right? They want everything, so... Now, energy is coming your way. We do have the chariot and we do have the fool, uh, both in reverse major arcana. A little bit of stagnation, but also some food for thought. The fool in reverse might be a little bit of impulsiveness, a little bit of stubbornness, a little bit of a resistance. And we might be, we might have to be aware of, right, uh, of that energy because we want to move with the chariot, chariot, knight of wands, energies of moving, king of wands at the core of the reading, energies of moving, mobilizing action, um, leadership, taking charge, but we have the fall in reverse. We might, um, you know, be a little bit, um, we might not be focusing on what's important at this time, right? For some of you. Now this person of yours, Five of Swords in Reverse and the Two of Cups, they love you, Virgo. I mean, there is no doubt they love you, but of course, they are um, kind of um, looking into, um, you know, solving a conflict between the two of you. Uh, for some of you, if no conflict happened, this is Five of Swords, is like, you know, they are about to give up uh, if there is no sign from you, but there is no doubt the bond is strong for them, right? Um, they might be struggling. They might have struggled in the past. That is, that is a sense of five of swords of I fought for this. I gave my everything. Um, so you know, they might be about to decide that they're gonna stay put for a while. Mutual energies between the two of you. The chariot in reverse. Where to God? This is stagnation, but this is also traveling. Impossible traveling, and we know with the pandemic we cannot really do what we want. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse, right? Accepting stagnation at this point. Unable to move, unable to travel, and unable to move towards each other. And also stagnation till we heal at our moment. Especially on your side, Virgo, that you are dealing with. But there is not a doubt in their mind that they love you. This person of yours. Okay? I don't know whose energies I picked up. There is a Taurus energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong energy, especially Sagittarius, Leo energy a couple of times. Can be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, an Earth sign like yourself, so Cancer a couple of times. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we are guided to do here. Protect yourself. I know, the gardener. This is all about taking care of your inner garden, your inner self. This is all about your world, right? 
And this is all about self-protection and nurturing yourself. We do have yin and yang, so we know they complete you, masculine and feminine. And we do have resolving conflict. That is this energy of conflict here, right? With the five of swords, two of cups, out of finding a solution out of love. But of course, now it's like more kind of, um, kind of directed here, right? The energy is good, but how about the conflicts we have? And we do have practice compassion, Virgo. See things from a fresh perspective. So we are really guided, right? To solve a conflict through compassion, understanding where they come from, where they are going, the way they see things. Because at the end of the day, you complete each other. And also, you have to take care of yourself. Now, let's look into the energies we need to, to uh, put back into the flow. And we do have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Responsibility. We have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. We do have self-esteem, the gardener of responsibility and self-esteem. I feel that this is all your personal work that you do right now. So I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And guess what? It comes with resolving conflict and self-esteem. So if we are going really through a situation where we might be, um, kind of, I don't want to say full of pride, but it can be, um, you know, we are kindly reminded to deal with this conflict from a place of compassion and a place of um, gifts that we have to share. Um, so surrender failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Most certainly we are loved. You do have bottom of the deck surrender denial. Accept people in situation exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And I want to look into some general guidance and it has nothing to do with love and sometimes it does. So let's see what's yours today. <laughs> you do have vegetarian and vegan. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency. Oh yeah. What else? We do have quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. And I kind of feel you went through this. In the past, we have twice the hermit, once upside down, once up. So you went through the, um, you know, figuring out your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. And let's have the last one. Oh, and we have facing fear. Honestly, it does feel like fear. The chariot, the fall in reverse, the strength, you know, guidance to be strong. So facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar, Virgo. And let's see the bottom of the deck. And we do have sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings and the gardener, the guidance we receive it kind of twice, right? We are sensitive. How about we cultivate our inner garden, our inner world? Um, your thoughts, your feelings, right? So we are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Um, yeah, I don't know. That is a big, 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 big. Guidance here, solve your conflict with this person and just focus on yourself, heal yourself and um, cultivate your um, inner world at this time. It's all about you. This is how I feel. Uh, and the gratitude towards what you have and the responsibility to take care of your inner world. Um, so Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.